Let me tell you, when you punch somebody in the face, it hurts a lot. I don't trust this guy. And it's not because he's slightly better looking than me. That's what I've been saying this whole time, but they're hypnotized by his slightly better looks. Slightly. Their distrust in Joey is slowing us down. We're gonna die, we gotta go. It doesn't open, it doesn't break apart. It's just, it's an actual solid box, I think we've just opened the Egyptian exhibit. I wouldn't say I was scared, more like surprised, because I don't get scared. What I painted was horrible. So we go outside, Joey hands me the Scarab B towel, and I place it in its rightful place. The twin sphinx holds the key to mind control over the mummy. So we got split up, which is always a great decision in every horror movie that's ever been made. So my group is me, Justine, Gabby, Joey. No respect for museums whatsoever. That has to be the one. One by one, Joey brings it to all of our foreheads. It's like an Egyptian lie detector. Turns out it's none of us. So who could it be? Oh. Little by little, the sorceress is making her way into our little circle. At the end of the day, I want to keep around people that can help me. And Justine, she doesn't look very helpful. And coins start raining from the heaven. You can never have too many favors owed to you. Next up, Joey and I have to get on a stump and hold a position for 30 seconds. I'm actually really good just at like the this, tree pose. Just like this. Pull like against this. each other. Okay. This. So you need to put one okay, foot ready? up oh, on wait, the side, to... and you gotta intertwine, and then put your hands up too. Okay, let's hold each like other this. up. Joey. Oh, you gotta hold me up a little bit. Put your ready? leg up in the crotchimus. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Wait, let's switch sides. Maybe. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not as easy as it looks because Joey got them hips. Looking around, I realize my best bet is to get the strongest guy on my side. This is where I can solidify my alliance. You know, I'm a rebel. I might be able to help out a little bit if they let us live. I see a large red target. It's only like 10 feet away. This is gonna be easy. Apparently, bow and arrow is not my thing. Colleen says to not vote for the girls, but... Mm. I'm a voter anyways. There goes the alliance. I'm a little stuck. I don't know what's going on, but I got some conflicted feelings about this. To defeat him, we need the power of Excalibur. I'm pretty sure we should be listening, cause like our life depends on it, but it's long. The box opens and inside is a map. And that map is gonna lead us to Excalibur. Well, Gabby was slowing us down anyways. This is the medieval exhibit. What is a caveman even doing here? I had my doubts, but I trust this guy now. I realized that there's no way we could form this map in the way that it is. So we have to either look in the reflection or look through the paper to see the opposite of what the map is actually saying. Gabby and Tana already have their names in the voting pile because they chose the cursed chalices. I vote for Joey. Bretman, Rosanna, and I'm pretty sure Gabby voted for Joey. Realizing that two of our friends are outside right now fighting to the death, just, it just didn't sit with me. The Black Knight is pretty much dead now, but with his last breath, he blows this horn. Whoa. Put some clothes on and put your snakes away. <laughs> I let everyone down, so I need to redeem myself. I walk down the steps, head towards the Gorgon, and I hid behind one of her statue victims. I get so close, I get right behind her and say, Hey, hey, yeah. Just when I think it can't get any worse, I get grabbed from behind by a minotaur. Nikita is loud. You can hear that girl from a mile away. We don't get along super well. Someone has to go in, so I'm thinking maybe Rose. She hasn't really done anything. I don't think she's been in one death match. I know Nikita is doing her best, but she needs to get moving. I am starting to build this Parthenon, but my Parthenon is looking more like a hut, and Colleen's Parthenon is kind of looking like a Parthenon. The last piece of the medallion appears, and I try to put it together as fast as I can so I can take control of this Minotaur. I thought if I just moved fast enough, I could save Colleen. But once again, I let everybody down. So we have to find the symbol of the djinn on the second floor and place the lamp upon it. There is a genie in there, like a real genie, locked up, blue and everything. 
Are we in this genie's lamp? I am slightly hypnotized. What can go wrong? The ebony horse is in the kebab tent and the hammer is somewhere else. So finally, we meet back up with the others and I am glad because these boots were not made for running. My boy Sinbad gets in a fight with Alibaba. They both lose. Bretman's story was definitely better than Joey's, but he took my place, I have to. Bro, I still owe Joey. And now it's time to get back to this genie. The pirates are so mad. What's their problem? This pirate was kind of cute, but one of the other pirates is her ex. One solved. We gotta hurry. Bretman didn't put them in a line. So we have to go back and correct his mistake. Thanks a lot, Bretman. You can't really tell a Bretman what to do. There's not many other options. Even in purgatory, the Gorgon's gone, so she's out of the picture. There's no Tinder. She might not be emotionally available yet. First, the belly dancers. Now Jezebel. <laughs> Why is love so elusive? Bretman is fast. He said he was fast, but I didn't believe it until now. My aim is not the best. I just have to hope that they mess up so I can catch up. Being here in purgatory, I lost my way. I thought maybe I was evil, but at the end of the day, I might not have pirate's blood, but I definitely have a hero's heart.